for at least a week, maybe two weeks, because that's what girls do. Now, when I had my first baby, that would not have been a good idea to go to my mother's house. <laughs> Some people have their mother come to their house. That would also not have been a good idea if my mother came to my house to help me take care of the baby. In fact, my plan was, I don't need any help. I'm going to take care of the baby myself, because whatever. Unfortunately, I had a complication after, uh, in, in the birth, and I couldn't walk, so I needed a help. But still, I wasn't going to ask my mother to come and help me. That would not have been a good idea. So who comes? Gisa. And Gisa, had, they, they, had just, they had just come, like, what was it, two months ago, three months ago? And we hadn't seen each other in... Many, many years. Many, many years. But it didn't matter. Because, you know, when some people have their mothers come, I had Gisa come. And Gisa came, and Gisa helped exactly, like Natasha said, exactly <laughs> the right amount, and didn't get in the way at all. And it was only help, and it was only, and it was only wonderful, and only wonderful memories with my with my first child. And then of course, you know, we skip a few years, and uh, you know, I, we were living in Israel, and um, Ari was born. I used to work in New York, and I used to come in to New York City and leave the kids. And then it had been a long time, and I hadn't been to the office. And I was thinking, how can I bring, you know, how can I bring the baby? And my parents were already living in Israel, and I had nobody here. Well, not nobody. And then Gisa said, I will take off from work, and I will come and stay with you in the hotel, and I will take care of your baby while you're at work. Nobody does this. Nobody. You can't even. You can't even. You can't even imagine to ask. Like Nobody asked. Right? <laughs> I, I could never. No. So, and, and they had such a wonderful time, and we had such a wonderful time yes. together. One of, the, one of the best things in my life. And then, um, and of course, and of course, every time we have a simcha, it's not a simcha if this is not there. And, you know, and then there was like Bart Matano's bar mitzvah, and then Mami and Shai's bar mitzvah. And then the girls each came all by herself, got on the plane. At, you know, like, you know, whenever to, to be at the girls' bar mitzvah. And let me tell you, this past year has been very, very difficult for me. Never mind, you know, that my mother passed away, it's one thing that you weren't there. It was, yeah. It was, that was just very, very difficult. Um, but God willing, there will be more symptoms. And for me to miss this wasn't an option, because how could I not see you for such a long time? And not to be in the symptoms. And this is the other thing that my Aunt Gisa taught me. Um, my Aunt Gisa taught me this, I tell everybody, okay, when everybody says, oh, you know, maybe we should make this party, not make this party, celebrate, not celebrate, my Aunt Gisa told me that problems come by themselves, and boy, you be a big so everything have, you know, that, that, that comes without asking. A simcha you have to make, and everybody says, oh, that is very, very wise. So, that, so I always say that. Now one more thing, one more thing. Just besides the fact that we should always have some close together, and we should always be physically, not just together in spirit, but physically together. We'll come, we'll come, whatever. And, um, but besides that, uh, there's a blessing that I wanted to give you. Um, and there's a story in the, in the Talmud that a, a rabbi was walking down, was, was walking in the journey, and he sat down under a tree and there was shade, and he enjoyed it so much, it was such a beautiful tree. And he said, hmm, I should bless the tree with something. What can I bless this tree with? I can't bless it with things that it already has. It already has, uh, it, it already has health, and it already has uh, space, and it already has everything it needs. So what can I give it, what blessing can I give it? He said, I know, I will bless it that all its shoots that come from it should be just like the tree itself. And that is that is the best, best blessing that I give you. That you already see in, that it comes that it's already happening. But you should see it for many many more years. That all that everybody, all your children, and also my children, and you know who see you also as as I, well. You'll hear from Ari. 
that we all are like you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Вот как иммигранты говорят по-английски. Да. И, и по-русски тоже она говорит.